The Central Bank of Nigeria has lifted the temporary suspension it placed on the clearing of checks in the country with effect from today. Uh, the bank disclosed this in a circular posted on its website. The CBN had earlier suspended the clearing of check instruments due to the lockdown mandated by the federal government in Lagos, Ogun, and the federal capital territory. Now, one of uh, Nigeria's financial institutions, uh, Polaris Bank, has released its first audited uh, 2019 compliant financial results showing profit before tax of nearly 28 billion naira. Uh, Polaris Bank Limited posted gross earnings figure of 150 uh, billion within the first full year of operations. The bank also closed the 2019 financial year with total assets of 1.1 trillion and shareholders funds of 83 billion. Joining me in the studio to discuss uh, Polaris Bank and uh, Polaris Bank's financials and CBN's decision to lift restrictions on check clearing is Arise business analyst Chika Umbonu. Chika, good morning to you. Morning, you're Lotus. welcome. You're welcome. How are you so, today? It, I'm fine, thank you. I hope you are good too. Please, yeah. uh, so take us through. It's uh, been a while since we heard from uh, from <laughs> Polaris and uh, okay. what's the latest. I mean, let's let's put some background yes. to this. Um, that, there was a bank called Sky Bank. Yes. And um, Sky Bank was, even at the time, one of the um, systemically important banks in our country, very important banks in the country. And, uh, but due to corporate governance issues and consistent inability to meet um, the CBN financial, statutory financial metrics, respect of liquidity and, mm. and capital adequacy, the shareholders were given time to, you know, recapitalize the bank. And um, by June 2016, um, they couldn't, so Central Bank took over the bank, or dissolved the, not took over the bank, dissolved the management of the bank, right. I appointed a new board and the management team to run the bank, towards preparing the bank, turning the bank, the bank back to profitability. Now, they worked for two years, and this didn't happen. So what happened now was the depositors fund was in jeopardy, and um, the bank was going to cause a systemic stress into the bank, financial system. Yes. So, you know, NDIC, CBN, working with Amcom, actually breached the bank, created a bridge bank, okay. which is called Polaris, Polaris Bank. So this bank, you know, came into being, came alive mm. in um, uh, September 2018. So that's why you can see here the result we have here is for three months for 2018. Okay, okay. okay. And, um, and you'll find that we didn't have any percentage mm. because you have to compare like, like for like. like, like. So okay. Polaris Bank you know, rose from the ashes of Sky Bank in 2018. And then under, under new management, principally, you know, um, um, funded by um, Amcon with up to about 898 billion naira into the system, into okay. the bank, to, you know, provide a capital of 25 billion and clear the accumulated um, losses the bank has uh, had. Okay. Upon any management and board, and um, that's why this is the first result they have that uh, we're seeing. They, okay. that we're seeing since then. Okay. Um, but, you know, um, it wasn't as if, you know, they started from a greenfield license right it was like running 100 meters and starting from 50 meters um, location right so you, you're going to run a race faster than those who start from beginning correct so that's not surprising from they already had 350 locations in the in the country 350 branches in the country right and as i told you one of, one of the very important systematically important banks in nigeria and even at the time mm. they had locations outside nigeria even though they have sold the sold them. all those yeah so that's the the, the first result they probably so we thought that we should look at this and okay. see how the bank had transformed, and the importance of the bridging bank, bridging bank uh, um, effort yes. of the central bank. Because what would have happened is that the bank had been left, it would have collapsed, well, uh, um, and the deposit fund would have gone, <coughs> and it would have, may have created a systemic stress, in the financial stress in the financial, financial system. Gross earnings had come in at um, 150 billion, and then look at, um, let's, let's scroll down to the, to the, to the distant, the profit before tax, okay. which came in at, um, 27 billion yes. is an interesting figure for them. Okay. Now, but let's look at the, the issues for them. The issue is that they were funded by CBN, capitalized by CBN, yes. and then have gone, gone out to the market. What happened now was that they had a lot of to toxic uh, loans, right. bad, uh, bad loans. Those loans were taken over by Amcon. Right. And so they started from a clean slate. When you go to the balance sheet, you find that compared, even though they have a deposit fund of, deposit, deposit, um, uh, deposit liability of almost a billion, you find the loan book is very, very low. Okay. Because they're like trying to create new loans. New loans again. In the, in the process. And that's affected the, the net interest income and the, the fees and commission uh, line. Okay. So not surprising that for they came in um, into um, the kind of figures that have, that have come in. So the bank is on, on, on the road, new road, new, yes. new road now. Early days. Early days now. 
Um, but you know, it's a common, common, common good owned by the common good. Right. Correct. You know, that, there's no real owner, no new private owner now. Right. Um, challenge the proposal for the going forward now is the IT platform had been, you know, a lot of Nigerian banks have scaled up on the IT platforms. Yes. But because of the issues, challenges they had in the past, they didn't, they couldn't make the expenditures required. So now they are trying to move to that again. That. Now, their, their, their loan book has been almost starting from zero. Mm. So now, looking for the right loan books, correct loans that not, you know, give them a history of the past correct. to start again. Okay. But most importantly, is to move down to the retail se sector, retail sector, both in the deposit liabilities okay. and the, in the retail credits. Okay. So those are the strategies of the bank, and the issues have to do with staffing and motivations and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. hopefully... By the time we have this result next time, right. we will have proper comparisons to make. But I mean, it's a transformational success for the, for the bank. And the deposit funds are safe now, yes. and the bank has returned to profitability. So thanks to the actions of the CBN, the CBN and, 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 and AMCOM and then NDIC. Institutions, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, so shall we now get your thoughts on the check? Uh, uh, Declaring. Declare, declare, declare. 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 Yes, so, uh, you know, and I think we, have, uh, we might have some uh, figures on where Nigeria is mm. right now mm. with, uh, with check writing. But mm. I wanted to get your thoughts, because, you know, if you, if you think about it, from, I think, between 2016 and mm -hmm. 2018 18. or so, mm -hmm. we've seen... Um, a, a drop a in drop. the volume yes, of, in checks, the number of checks. checks. Yes, okay. Checks. We have that on our, on yeah. our screen now. So yeah. check writing, mm -hmm. 2016, 11.7 mm -hmm. million mm -hmm. checks written. 2017, mm -hmm. 10.8 million. 2018, mm -hmm. 9.2. So this is data from NIBS. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I would have thought that perhaps, <laughs> you know, this would have been an opportunity for Central Bank to try and, you know, as Winston Churchill said, yeah. you can't let a good crisis go to waste. <laughs> Use it as an opportunity to push more electronic well, transactions well, through. The, the, the truth is, is that even the developed economics, yes. financial systems, the check, the check, um, checks still form part of the very important segment of the payment and rece receipt and payment system. Yes. A settlement system for the banking um, uh, industry. Mm. So Nigeria it can be different. Um, you can see that um, the digital uh, e-banking has you know, um, cannibalized the, the check presented volumes. Yes. You can see that from 2016 to 2018, to even to 2019, the volumes have been falling. Yes. Understandably. But the issue is that transactions are, are being consummated by, by check. Mm. Now, what CBN has done is that, so that to make checks, what is happening, I remember when I started my early career in banking, sometimes those days, checks can be cleared in 14 working days. Yeah. Some if it's up country, 21 working days. Hey, that's a long time. That's a long time. Yes. You know, and so the appeal for check started diminishing. Mm. But CBN has been bringing down the clearing period for checks. From the time it was T plus five, it came down now to T plus three. Yes. And CBN had lately brought it down to T plus two, and now it's now T plus one. Mm. T plus one means that if you're paying your check on Monday, Monday morning or Monday, any time on Monday, yes. before the banking system closes, by Tuesday, close of work in the evening, you'll have gotten value for it. Mm. You may not get it from the banking hall, but if you have online banking, you should be able to do the trans get the value for it. So okay. that has reduced, increased the appeal for check. Before, when people give you check, it's like, oh, 10 working days, whatever. But now, if you pay it in on Monday by Tuesday late evening, you get the value. Okay. So checks are still very important elements of the payment and settlement system of the, of the banking industry. And it will continue to be, to be so. And so you notice that when the COVID issue started in Nigeria, yes. Central Bank um, um, suspended clearing. But that was, that was not fair because a lot of activities were still going on. Still going on, right. Okay. Commercial activities were still going on. Yes. And payment, checks, people were, some people were making payments with checks. Mm. And so what will happen now, those checks now will be held in the drawers without getting value. Mm. And so with the wisdom of the CBN in opening up that, this clearing again, yes. these values will, will uh, come in. Uh, and, uh, I, I want you to take a look at this figure here. If you see, mm. okay, although this is uh, half the year value. 2019, the, okay, volumes the volume okay, has volumes. been coming yeah. up. Okay, do you foresee, uh, because I think the volume is now in the number mm. check, 4 mm. million as at uh, June mm. 2019. For 2019, so yeah. Do, but do you foresee these numbers to continue to go down? It, it will continue to go down, yeah. but it, it will eliminate check from the payment system. You don't think so? Let eh? me tell you why also. Okay. Because... <laughs> There are some clients, there are some customers yes. who are vast to, like, they want to see the money. Right. They don't want to, the money to serve inside a laptop. <laughs> you know, they still have that feel of yes. the check, the check is the, the, real, the real thing. Yes, so yes. It, won't, it won't completely disappear. A lot of people don't use it. And then also, what about the, the security side of things? The fact that, you know, you're writing, using your signature to sign off a check, mm. check store, record keeping and security. Mm. Is that, is yeah, that, is because that... it is a trail. It right. is a, a trail. Mm. It is a trail. And then with the issues of hacking and 
and um, the kind of frauds happening now in the electronic banking, mm. a lot of people are running away from that too. People right. are just saying, oh, your money can just disappear to anywhere. So we want to continue to use check. So but checks continue to be an important payment system. Remember, bank drafts also are very important. Right. Yeah, bank drafts have to go through uh, clearing. So mm. that's part of that. Okay. So well, even dividends are still going to through, through, through that, the, that yeah. method as well. Mm. Okay, well, lucky, like, we only have one minute. Like, what about the generational gap? Because with what we're seeing in Nigeria, it seems like it's more older customers still on checks mm -hmm. and the younger ones mm -hmm. use more electronic yeah. ways. Yeah, even at that, not even individuals. It's yes. more, if you look at it, that, that's, this analysis, mm. you find it's more the corporate segments okay, yes, corporate segment, that, yes. use, that use the che right, checks. Right. And even more, the Lagos, Lagos banking market. Chika Umbono, Arise Business Analyst, thank you so much for joining us thank to talk you. about Polaris Bank, you know, on the up and up, thanks to the central bank's assistance there, mm -hmm. as long as other government institutions, and also the uh, issue of check clearing versus electronic transactions in Nigeria. Thank you so much, sir.